played such great friends to Montana, telling her about herself when she needed it and also helping her in her quest to find love. But tell me, in your own lives and with your own friends, uh, have you typically been the matchmaker or the one being matched? And we'll start with you. Um, I'm normally the matchmaker, but mm -hmm. with my foot halfway on the gas, uh -huh. I like to, you know, set up a dinner or some type of situation where we can mingle and it's not me saying hey i need you to meet this person but let them kind of figure it out let them meet, see if they're attracted to you know a little more organic and yeah not let, it, force them into let it happen i'm a let it happen kind of guy okay yeah. and we know that you're very happily married now but uh, prior to carmelo prior I, i've just always been a matchmaker i'm always I have so many friends and i'm like you and you would be great together and always trying to put people together and sometimes it goes good and sometimes it goes bad but uh i like doing it She's okay. hooking me up. Yeah, yeah, I have someone yeah. in mind right now. Oh, really? well, uh, tell us about that. What kind of man do you think that would, would be right for uh, Miss Jill Scott? I, I think she wants somebody that, according to my book, The Love Playbook out in January, <laughs> a woman like uh, Jill Scott needs someone that's strong, confident, and fun. Like, Jill has such a fun personality, and I'm glad people got to see it in this movie, in, in her being Gail, and I think... I think she would want that in, in a relationship to laugh and, and have a good time. Everything doesn't have to be so serious right. all the time. Is she, uh, is she dead on or what would you she like is. to add to that list? She is dead on. I, I really like to laugh and I, I also like intelligence. Mm -hmm. I like to learn from people that are around me. Mm -hmm. So um, if you were going to be a date, it'd be nice to learn some mm -hmm. things. You know, be inspired or intrigued you by conversation. Stimulated too. Yeah, sure. I love that. Okay. And Adam? Me. Um, I don't think I've ever been set up in my life, now that I think about it. Would you um, be uh, opposed to it, or are you open? All the girls just come to No, I just, I just... Do I just <laughs> intro. He, just, he doesn't do anything. He just sits back. <laughs> <I've seen it. laughs> hey, I've seen it um, too. <laughs> no, would I be opposed to it? No, I think it's a fine, you know, I mean, blind dates sound kind of terrible, but... But like a nice like group, uh, in a nice group setting, a setup sounds, you know, great. And, um... I think I've set up friends in a group setting type situation and I've, I think I've, through my relationships, have been responsible for at least one child. But, nice. Um, nice. but I can't say that I, I was, you know, very consciously setting them up. I didn't. It just happened. Okay, got it. So you were going to put But I'm the linchpin. Okay. 